I would like to invite Nadia Sultanova, uh, Director of Dig Digitalization, Innovation and Investments at Innovative Sofia, the Sofia municipality. So, uh, Thank you, Miriam. Is this working? Hello? Can you hear me? Thank you, Miriam. Your Excellencies, friends from Norway and Bulgaria. Uh, thank you. I'm very delighted to be here. Uh, one confession, my first hybrid event, so bear with me. Uh, as Mirjana said, my name is Nadia Sultanova. Um, for the last four years, I've been working for the city of Sofia. Uh, first, uh, as a, one of the people behind the team of Invest Sofia, and many of you know us in uh, um, that role. And as a few months ago, uh, our team took on a new challenge, uh, and uh, now we work with a newly created unit of digitalization, innovation, and investment at the municipality. Um, I'm very happy to be here for a personal reason as well, because four years ago when we started working, my first presentation, uh, my first storytelling about Sofia, the successes of our city, was actually in Oslo. Uh, we did an event with Innovation Norway uh, called uh, Oslo Meet Sofia, and uh, then we visited another city, uh, Skien. I'm pronouncing it correct. Uh, so uh, I'm very, very happy to be to be back. Um, I would like to start my presentation with a quote. This is something that I do. Uh, times are hard. We need a little bit of a boost, and that's why I chose a very optimistic quote. It's by an American co-founder who has now moved part of the operations of the company here in Sofia. We approached him because that's what we do, him and many other people, and asked the question, why Sofia? Why Bulgaria? So this is the answer we got. Oops. And I will just read it out because I think it summarizes what Sofia is. Loyal, smart, and genuinely excited software engineers. It takes a special kind of person and team to be able to keep innovating and pushing to deliver. And we, we found that in the Bulgarian people. We found that the Bulgarian people are fighters. They have a strong pride in craftsmanship and a desire to win. The culture is actually similar in many respects to Silicon Valley. I really like this quote, and I hope it, ins it inspires you as well as the way it inspires me. Sofia at a glance. Um, we are a city approaching, that's more for the, our friends in Norway, by the way, we are a city approaching 2 million people with the surrounding area. 25% uh, of the working age population, uh, and we collectively producing about 40% of the GDP of the country. We like to brand ourselves as the tech city, and I'm very proud to announce that a few days ago, this new inaugurative um, survey came out. Uh, it's made by the Financial Times FDI unit and uh, Amsterdam based uh, the next web. Uh, it ranks the global cities of the future, tech global cities of the future in uh, Europe and uh, we are number 20th and I'm sure we'll do better much uh, next year but uh, I'm especially personally proud by number 17 in FDI strategy because partially joint work here. If I can have one, how to say, one thing that I want to share about Sofia is that we've come a long way from outsourcing to co-creating. Uh, from outsourcing destination to a creator of high quality global solutions, a partner in innovation. And that's something we uh, want to go around Europe and the world and telling this, this is not an outsourcing destination. This is a destination of people, software engineers, companies that will work on your project. They will take ownership of your project. They will take pride in your project and they will be your partners in the long term. It's not an outsourcing destination anymore. And we are very proud of that, by the way. I was asked to talk about the ICT sector. We have other priority sector and biotech is one of them. Uh, but I will concentrate on that because that's what the organizers ask me to do. Uh, so 16% uh, of the total, total export earnings of Sofia come from this sector. Uh, the companies are predominantly export oriented, the 90% 90, 90 and so on. Uh, so this is not a surprise. 90% of the technology companies are in Bulgaria, in Bulgaria are in Sofia and 12% of the workforce in the city is employed in this sector uh, more or less. 
other things uh, we would like to mention, 12th in uh, best developers in the world, second in top 10 fastest growing tech centers in Europe. We're now hosting, or will be hosting uh, shortly, uh, next generation supercomputer. We have a big data and AI, um, AI center of excellence called GATE, developed by the Sophie University in collaboration with the university in Sweden. And this is something we're uh, looking closely and hoping to, um, to really boost the AI and big data potential of uh, our city. Another thing that I really like to mention, I always do it with <laughs> much gusto, is that uh, our country, Sophie in particular, has one of the highest percentages of women in tech, women in sciences, women in IT, and this is something, uh, uh, I think that's a competitive advantage for us. Startup and tech hub uh, for the last, uh, well, let's say we have a startup ecosystem since, what, eight years ago? Uh, Already a regional center, I can say that for sure. Ten in, uh, over 10 incubate, incubators, 15 VC funds, co-working places, digital events, you know it, like the whole, uh, the whole every part of the ecosystem is here. 15% of our startups are actually in deep tech, and that's something to watch. They're in areas like AI, robotics, automotive, aerospace, fintech, biotech, and createch. And, uh, Probably those are the areas in which the, the first Bulgarian uh, unicorn will come out of, and I can't wait, personally. University students, we have 23 universities, over 100,000 students, 40% uh, of, of the students are in, in STEM fields. English, well, we speak it, I mean, no doubt about it. Uh, 28 uh, in um, English proficiency, index as a city, 24th as a country. So everybody will agree, it's just, it's just yeah, there. Uh, for, the, for many years, Bulgaria and Sofia has been experiencing a uh, brain drain. Uh, we can say now that the tides are turning. Let's see what happens after COVID, but uh, it's been a steady reversal of people, of the brain drain, people coming back. Uh, quality of life is, uh, Good in Sofia, uh, especially if you work in IT or some uh, high value added sectors. And uh, we see a lot of people coming back to be founders, to be to work for a company. Uh, and of course, the cost of living and the cost of doing business is a substantial factor. Uh, we like to talk about high value added and innovation, but this is also something to uh, not forget. Uh, my colleague, uh, Mr. Yanev, mentioned a lot about the cost of doing business in, in Bulgaria. I will not say much, but generally, um, even though the salaries in IT and some other high value added sectors are not as low anymore, uh, the total cost per employer is still low and the quality of life your uh, workers or employees will get with the salaries that they get is still very good compared to pretty much any place in, in Europe. Our real estate market in the city is growing and it's primarily driven by IT, uh, BPO and shared service centers. We now have several economic zones, industrial zones in the city and uh, a tech park that just opened less than five years ago. This is the Sofia Tech Park. Interesting fact about it is that it's in the very, ci very city center unlike many uh, tech parks that are outside. Living in Sofia, living in Sofia, well, a few things you have to remember. We have 30 mineral springs. We have a mountain that's just there. I don't know how many of you go, but it's, we have a substantial mountain in our backyard. Uh, and if you ski, which I don't, you can ski there, including at night. Uh, and uh, well, we have uh, several millennia of history so if you're a history buff, you can explore that as well. The success stories of Sofia, well, four years ago when I, this site is a bit crowded. Four years ago when we started working, it wasn't as crowded. I'm, I'm sure it's time for us to like spill over to another site. Uh, but those are the, the R&D or shared service centers in Sofia. Uh, you probably see a lot of consumer brands on the, recognize a lot of consumer brands. Those are brands with R&D centers or shared service centers in Sofia. 
Okay, those are my contacts. I don't have my business cards yet. But if you need to contact me, please do. My mobile is on the site, so anytime. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Nadia. Very informative, short, and to the point, as always.